time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! For Valhalla! at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. I'd love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you get my tea? Oof. 
Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like... two minds. Fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels... dense. Noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches. My temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Let's have a look. Staff of the Messengers. Izu, Izu Messengers I. Rebecca. Before we meet at the site, I want you to see these. Last week, I reviewed the logs from my time with Bayek and came across some old notes. In the years I explored... Izu, Izu, Messen, Izu me Message 2, Excerpt. No surprise. You were designed to have boundaries, after all. And one cannot speak of that which one cannot conceive. The Izu, Messen Izu Messengers... Message 3, Excerpt. Break the code. Break the note. These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structure. Izu Messenger... Message 4, Excerpt. Linear continuity is a simulation that allows Izu Messenger... Izu Mes... Message 5. Reality is a mathematical model which gets solved over and over again by the observer. Izu Messengers si Message 6. The next chapter is unstoppable. And yet Izu Messengers 6. Staff of Eden. The Staff of Her Acquired from the Eagle Bearer, Cassandra, 2018. Presumed manufacture date. Late in the Isu Singularity Age, 75,100 BCE-2200 IE. The, me the me secure share. My stuff. Picture. Trash. My Obergen Letter M and Madam Bibo. My name is Layla Hassan. I was letter to Vic Mailbox. Re no from Rami Hassan to Layla Hassan. Date May eleventh, twenty twenty. Re disappearing from Rami Hassan to Layla Hassan date May 2nd 2020 subject re disappearing for a while. subject re subject re, from to Layla Hassan date January 19th 2020 10:37 a.m.
subject, subject, re, next steps. Good. At subject, re, sub, from, to, Layla Hassan. Date, December 27, 2019, 5.51 p.m. Subject, re, files. English law. Layla, as you traipse about England, Bex, and I thought you might want to keep your eyes open for a few things. Assassin bureaus. Or the hidden ones, more accurately. They operated in Roman Britain between the years 100 and 430 CE. It's not clear why they left, but the final date corresponds roughly to the Roman exodus from Britain, so I imagine their leaving had something to do with the Empire's retreat. Mich Session Animus Session Report Date, November 3rd, 2 Session Media Strange Message I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep I dream. And in my dreams I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me, and save us all, from another death. Strange message dot, Desmond underscore. No, no, come on Sean, turn that thing off. Oh hold on, I like what you said there, I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on, if nothing else it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle, nice. What I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the Assassins, I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want, or no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed if free will is the most important moral guidepost we have we should be free to ignore it to choose submission for example you know what i mean like we should be free to side with the templars if it's really my choice i could do that right it's almost self-refuting a democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway, my dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. The stagnation sets in, you know? The fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake and... Not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, munching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like... Like they're doing something. When the hard work is... Well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. 
You chose this life. You went through that process, and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you and Bex and Lucy that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't normally like touching, but I'll make an exception now. I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? Desmond underscore zero one dot wave. For Layla dot wave. Layla, thought you might be interested in this. Conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012. Um, December, I think. Just, uh, candid talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any beat poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences. So, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless it's to tell me I sound like a total prat in these recordings. If that's the case, just say nothing. I mean, I did have a slight cold at the time I recorded these. That's probably why I sound odd. Anyway, I, 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 okay, I'm done anyway. So turn off. Turn off. Oh, it's actually just a button. Sorry, here we go. For Layla dot wave. Desmond on. Hold on, I'll just set this here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But you've been using the Animus so much, I thought this was a good chance to learn some things about prolonged exposure. So I'm your guinea pig? No, no, my guinea pigs are all dead. The Animus was too much for them to handle. Cute. Can I ask you about the bleeding effect? Any recent flashes? Any memories resurfacing? Yeah, the usual things. Ghost images of Altair and Ezio a few times a day. Nothing intrusive, just brief moments. They pass quickly, almost without me noticing. Like a figure in the corner of my eye. Or remembering a dream from the night before. I did have one extended hallucination a few days ago. It was Ezio. He was older, around the time he left Cappadocia. He was standing on the deck of a ship, alone. And through him, I could feel an intense regret or guilt. And it felt to me like he'd had a, a loss of faith in himself, in the creed, like he couldn't keep it up, couldn't stay true to his ideals. And as I watched him, I thought, is this the moment he decided he was done being an assassin? It felt like it. Anyway, most of my visions have been brief, lasting just a few seconds. They're like complete memories of small moments that appear suddenly out of nowhere, fully formed. It's a strange feeling. Okay, anything else? I'm starting to see Connor now, too. Though I hear his voice more often than I see him, I'm sure that will change. Oh, yeah, and yesterday, just before bed, I had a memory of being on a beach in the Caribbean with a bunch of sailors. Or maybe they were pirates. I don't know. No idea. Huh. We'll look into that. And how do you feel in general? In general? Well, I feel older, for one. Much older. And it's strangely comforting. I'm collecting the memories and skills and thoughts of so many people. I feel like I've lived a few hundred years or more. Is it possible that if I do this for too long, It'll push my own memories aside? That I'll be everyone but myself after a while? It's possible. That's called identity substitution. It's happened before, but it's rare. And someone with your background shouldn't need to worry. My background? You mean someone with my genes? My abilities? You have ESU DNA. And that lets you see things and do things and withstand traumas that other people can't. And I can suffer in ways that others can't. That's not something to be proud of. You mean the apple? Yeah. It has a pull, Bex. 
It tugs at my brain. It talks to me, teases me, drives me mad. And what I did to Lucy, God damn it. Nothing is worth the damage I did, the pain I caused. I know, but you're special. That's the point. I'm not special, Bex. I'm lucky. That's all. I understand. We're assassins. It's our creed that makes us different, not our genes, not our blood. Anyone can join us. That's true. But let's leave that aside for a second. What I want to know is, have you ever had any Isu memories resurface? Isu memories? I don't... don't think so. I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. I think you'd know if you did. Maybe one day. We might be able to induce something. Jesus, let's fix the world first, okay? Before we start digging up my ancient ancestors. Deal. With my luck, I'll be related to some third-rate Isu like... like Sisyphus or something. <laughs> Way to aim high, buddy. <laughs> hey, you gotta... Desmond underscore zero two dot way. That's quite nice. Soothing. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Strange message. Press B close. An audio fragment sent from an unknown location to our encrypted servers. Nothing was stolen, nothing corrupted, just a quick deposit and gone. We got lucky this time. So what is it? A cryptic sound file, voice unknown, with a signal beneath it. The signal was a code. Led us to a precise spot here in New England. We dug, and good lord, we struck gold. Well, silver. Dominant currency in the Dark Ages. Point is, it was a grave site. A Norse warrior, dating to the late 9th century, early 10th century AD. A few centuries before the earliest known settlements. This is big news if we have it right. Questions remain, how did these bones get here? And why? You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead.
Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. This land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say hello. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. For they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Oh, 
Come to stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dag. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Release the naval chain. Release the naval chain. I must be careful now. friend. Release the naval chain. 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 This chain is huge. Fully anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. River chain blockade. Press B. Release the naval chain.
release the navel chain. Warp the swan road home, with Sigurd leading the Release the navel chain. Return to the longship. I cannot leave them. The others Return to the longship. Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of symbol pleasures, aren't you, Dak? And fear for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to fade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Of Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. 
If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! <laughs> on me! this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! of the bandits. Prices. Right. I will check the longhouse. All scraps and rubbish over here. What a mess. Explore the area. Explore the area. <laughs> Explore the area.
Eivor, look at this. Wait! More unwelcome with the sons of. Explore the area. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli, I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the Sons of Ragnar? Hi. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. 
Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps... Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking, then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Blacksmith. Gunnar's Forge is where you enhance and customize your weapons and gear. Build locked. Lack the needed supplies to build Gunnar's Forge. World. Quests. Tracked quest. Settling down. Sigurd has chosen a coded database. Inform. Location. M Norway. Mercia. The Kingdom of Mercia, situated in England's m re region. Locations. The rave built from the ruins of an abandoned set. Ravens. Locations. People. Faction. Saxon, originating from the co- Facts. Enem. Wobringer. Cyril. The basic Saxon warrior. Enem. People. Database. Inf. Tutor. The world of Assassin's Creed. Move. Main. Progress. Power. Web. World. Settle. The settlement is the heart of. Progress. Combat. World. Quest. World and activity. Alliance to settle and thrive. World weapons and gear. World and w w w stealth abilities. Skills. Fate. Let the fate. Fate. Let the fate guide your path. All your uns. Longship brace. 
When you are in command of the longship, the crew will raise their shield with you. Hold A acquire. Assassin carry. Hold right bumper to automatically carry a body after a successful assassination. Hold A acquire. Gather the crew. Skip fate. Let the fate fate. Let the range. First. Heavy dual wield. Fight ready. Always start a fight with an adrenaline slot filled. Hold A acquire. Dane Axe Dane A Ma Great Sword Increases your mastery with great swords Pl Ability damage Plus 1 ability damage critical Plus 2 points Hammer Increases your mastery with hammers Health Plus 5.2 health A Invent Bag Raven Clan Rave Carolingian Hood Mythical Cloak Raven Berserk Carolingian Carolingian Torso Mythical Tor Carolingian Carolingian Bra Carolingian Carolin Berserker Hood Berserker Raven Clan Cloak Berserker Hood Bag Bag Carolingian torso Mythical torso Press a change Up Carolingian pants Mythical pants Sh Rune of life Shadow rune Minor bulwark rune Plus 2.0 heavy res M Minor remedy rune Minor shell rune Plus 3.0 armor Minor remedy Minor bulwark Minor shell Minor shield rune Minor shadow rune Hold a fast travel. Alcestrum Monastery. Raid. Not Undiscovered location. Raid. Raid this location with your crew to gain its wealth. Alcestrum Monastery. Raid. Raid this location with your crew to gain it. Alcestrum, Alcestrum Monastery. Raid. Hey, boy! What does you think? Raid location Icon Monastery raids. Raiding heavily guarded location. Your ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! You must we will in crack these, these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah! But nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager! Let the sail out! Go. Find resources to build Gunnar's Forge. Eivor, look there. Race and find resources to build ready. Gunnar's Forge. Oh, 
Rate and find resources to build Gunnar's Forge. Rate and find resources to build Gunnar's Forge. Rate and find resources to build Gunnar's Forge. Find resources to build Gunnar's Forge. Great to find resources to build Gunnar's Forge. Give me a hand over here! War guys, my blood! Damn you! Rate and find resources to build Gunnar's Forge.
Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Residents note, press B close, everywhere I turn, there is sick. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. What is your name? May. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you. It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fallen to the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. 
I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. I believe your father will return. I don't, you need to move on. All I can say for certain is that this leaf will fall. You should hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. That way, if your father never returns, your heart will not break. But if he does, you'll weep with joy. I haven't thought of it that way, but it is a simple idea to live by. You're right. I must carry on with or without him. Thank you, Eivor. May the Lord be with you. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Till the goats begin to bray, or... Yes. A little longer. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. That's it then. Carry on with your life, May. Everything will be all right. Return to your settlement and build good May's journal. Press B close. It has now. See you soon. Return to your settlement and build Gunnar's Forge. Be my eyes soon.
Hold a fast travel. 